Hello, everybody. Uh, it's uh, about 1 p.m. June the 22nd, Monday. Uh, this is going to um, be a uh, discussion of the potential for severe weather for Tuesday, June the 23rd. Um, what you see on the screen right now is um, the convective outlook for tomorrow. Uh, Washington, D.C. is right in this area. Uh, and uh, we are right on the edge between slight and marginal risk for severe uh, thunderstorms. I suspect that later today, early tomorrow, this is going to be expanded into our, our neighborhood. <clears throat> so we probably are going to be at an elevated risk for severe thunderstorms uh, tomorrow. Uh, let me bring up buff kit and I'm, this will show some of the things that I'm <clears throat> watching and that does concern me a bit. Um, <clears throat> this is the um, latest um, output from the North American model uh, being displayed in uh, the Weather Services uh, software buff kit. I have this set for uh, Tuesday at 4 p.m. <clears throat> and uh, if you can see, we have a lot of red in this area. Um, that this is this is what's called CAPE, convective available potential energy, and uh, this is showing a, a really quite high um, amount of CAPE at 4 p.m. It's uh, 3,500, which I I believe is probably the highest I've seen yet this year, um, even higher than it was on uh, uh, Saturday when we had the severe weather. The other thing that concerns me a little bit is uh, this this figure right here. It's SWEAT, this number here. And um, uh, at 4 p.m., it's going to be at, at uh, 534. And um, any, whenever this goes above 400, there is uh, a possible uh, tornadic activity indicated. So this uh, this high number right here is is uh, kind of con uh, concerning to me, um, and um, uh, the, the coupled with the fact that Cape is very elevated, uh, there's some other factors in here. I won't go into them uh, completely, but there are other factors here that also indicate uh, definitely we're going to get a severe thunderstorm. And I think based upon some of these. Um, amounts uh, there's a chance that some of those thunderstorms could spawn uh, tornadoes similar to what we saw Saturday. If we advance this a uh, few hours uh, we're showing at five definitely rain you can see um, the two green dots here if we advance it one more step we see three green dots now that indicates we're going to have pretty heavy rain uh, about 6 p.m. Uh, on uh, tomorrow on Tuesday right in the middle of rush hour um, it's currently showing about a, a tenth of an inch an hour but uh, it if we do spin up some of these uh, severe thunderstorms it's uh, probably going to be a, uh, substantially higher uh, probably uh, similar to what we saw um, Saturday uh, at least a quarter quarter of an inch to uh, to a half an inch an hour. <clears throat> okay, this is the NAM uh, map, uh, latest NAM North American model. Um, DC is right here, Alexander is right here, and this is displaying again the uh, CAPE, which uh, is an indicator of whether or not there's a potential for uh, severe thunderstorms to, uh, to be spawned. Uh, and at, this is set for uh, 2 p.m. We see a purple area just west of, um, of D.C. This indicates extremely elevated Cape, even above the uh, 3,500 range. This, is, this red area is 3,500. So this is going to be in the f uh, above 4,000, which is, is a very high. Uh, would indicate if they do spawn thunderstorms, they're going to be probably in the 40 to 50,000 foot uh, tops, which it would indicate a severe thunderstorm. If we have advanced this a little bit, let me see. If we advance it one hour, 
we see some of the this cape dropping, but uh, there's still pockets uh, in the 4,000 uh, above and, and uh, south, north and south of, of DC. Okay, let's put this back on 2 p.m. I'm going to switch to the water vapor in the air. Uh, if you can you see that the NDC is here, we have an elevated area of uh, water vapor south of us. The area where the high cape is, is not as much water vapor. So that's an indication perhaps that the, the thunderstorms may not develop quite as, uh, as severe. Uh, but if we advance this a little further, this is uh, 5 p.m. We're definitely seeing a real high uh, amount of water vapor across the DC area. And this correlates to that heavier rain period that is in the five to six uh, 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 range, uh, five to six p.m. range. And so we definitely are gonna have to watch this because uh, there is enough indicators to suggest a severe thunderstorm, heavy rain, potential hail, potential uh, uh, bursts of winds. And then I'm going to switch to my favorite, which is this the product from College of uh, DuPage. This is set for supercell composite. Uh, it indicates the potential for supercells. Uh, DC is right in this area. Uh, this is set for uh, 2 p.m. We are real close to this uh, orange area, definitely within the yellow. And um, this um, indicates that uh, it suggests that su supercells are a real possibility uh, in after 2 p.m. If we uh, switch this to a significant tornadic activity, let's do that. Let's see. Waiting for that to update. Okay, if we switch this to, again back to uh, the uh, 2 p.m. period, you see right here is DC. We are in a green area, and if we go a little on either side, we pretty much are going to stay in that green area. So now this product indicates while there's a high uh, possibility of severe weather, severe thunderstorms. The chances of a tornado spinning up is uh, is somewhat reduced, so it's possible we will only have a severe thunderstorm. Um, the chance of tornadic activity is still up in the air because there's a conflict between uh, some of these indicators. So we we'll definitely need to stay attuned tomorrow um, uh, to the weather. Either uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Pat Penn. P-A-T-P-E-N-D, or any other weather source in the D.C. area, of course. Uh, again, uh, my, my goal is to keep you all safe. And uh, so I'm going to uh, be updating this uh, uh, starting tomorrow morning and uh, let you know if anything's have changed. Thanks a lot.